Hello Khatija and hello viewers. You must be wondering what are all these colored sprayers here for. You, you also must be wondering. I want you to do one thing. Please light the burner and then I will show you what is today's experiment. Many of us know that during the time of Diwali, the festival of lights, we get many crackers in which we get colors. How do we get that colors? Do you know how you get that colors? Then we are going to do that. What I'm going to do is, I've got a chemical in this spray can. What I have done is, I have taken a metallic salt. It can be sodium, it can be potassium, it can be lithium, it can be copper, it can be strontium. And I have dissolved it in a little bit of water and added some spirit. I, I will make this a non-luminous flame so that, you know, we can see the color spray. Please put on your safety glasses and here we go. I am taking this spray can and I am going to spray directly into the flame. We will observe some color. Please watch. We are going to do it again. Shall I do it? Yes, please. You do it once and see. From far. What is the color we observe here? Dark orange or yellow color. It is yellow color. This is a very characteristic uh, nature of sodium. A metal sodium, when it is burned or when it gets excited, it gives us a yellow orange color or a yellow color. Here's another one. You try this again once more. I think the bottle is pink. Maybe I'll get the pink color. Try it and see. Red, is it? red color. Red. Now this is the type of color that we generally see during the firecracker season or in Diwali season. And that is because it contains the metal strontium. Strontium when it ignites or when it is get heated to a high temperature, it gives this characteristic crimson red color. So, strontium is a metal? Yes, strontium is, is a metal. This, metal this material is called an alkaline earth material and its uses are a little limited. Now, I am trying the third one. This I will try. Green bottle, green flame. Green bottle, green flame. This apple green color is from barium barium is an belongs to the same family as strontium and now finally the last one which is very colorful i think you try it and see shall i guess the color <laughs> oh you yes color. you can try yes sir. a beautiful bluish green color is being seen and this is because of the presence of a metal called copper we know copper yes. is quite as popular metal used in lot of things for making wires, vessels, etc. And so, what we have here is a very important part of chemistry. That means different metallic elements, when sprayed into a flame, their salts give different colors. These colors can be used for identifying the metal. This was the beginning of how spectroscopy started. We had sodium first, then we had strontium, then we had barium, and finally we had copper. This way, you can identify unknown metals by this simple test. Can I identify more metals, sir? Yes, there are very many more metals that you can identify. For example, you can have lithium, you can have potassium, and you can have many other materials. Same procedure. Same procedure can be followed, but we have to remember one very important thing. We should be able to dissolve the metals, salt in either water or in some flammable material. Now that will give us this test. This is a very flammable, no sir? Might be one of these will be more flammable, means we must be careful. No, no. We, whenever you do chemistry experiments, yeah. as you have already put on yeah, safety glasses, you must be very careful. Okay. And that is the reason why sometimes I'm stopping you from taking this very close, because we don't want it to catch fire. We must protect ourselves. 
So let's give it. If we are shaking this, any gas will? No gas will come out. There will be no other materials except that this is a solution of a soluble salt in spirit. Here I have used methylated spirit, but you can use alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, or any of these materials. Have you got the idea? Of course, sir. So metallic salts give beautiful colors when they are put in One a flame. Yes. Sir, when we are getting the different types of flames, yes. does all the flames have the same energy or same type no, of heat? No, 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 no. This is also one of the very interesting questions that you have asked, that every color has got a different energy level. Okay. So this is how spectroscopy came into play. A spectroscope, a spectrum is a band of colors. Yes. When you, one of the most common one is rainbow. You can see seven colors one band after another. There is another type of spectrum called line spectrum. That is how helium was discovered from taking the spectrum of the sunlight. When sunlight was allowed to go through a prism, it was broken down. Yes, this is helium is present over there. Today I have learned a lot from you sir and love more and more. Oh, that's very nice and thank you all. I hope you as you also have enjoyed what we have done today because uh, chemistry can be a very colorful and an interesting subject there is no need to buy heart i always say understand the subject don't buy heart you'll enjoy it more good example myself bad chemistry student <laughs>